Hey guys, Danny here. So today I'm in my garage and I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY wood memento box personalized with a photo transfer. I love this project. I made it for my dad for Father's Day, but you can give this to any friend or family for any occasion. It's super simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And if you haven't already subscribed to Coral, make sure you do and click on those bell notifications because we have awesome content coming two times a week. These are the materials you're gonna need to make this project. Your first step is to cut your wood into the following sizes. From your pine board, cut two pieces at 12 and a half inches and two pieces at 11 inches. These pieces are going to form the sides and the front and back of your box. My plywood is going to be used for the lid and the bottom of my box. The top plywood sheet is going to be 12 by 11 and 5 eighths and the bottom is gonna be 11 and 5 eighths by 11 and 5 eighths. Starting with your backboard, you're gonna router 3 eighths of an inch down and router all the way across. I've set my router depth to 3 eighths of an inch, which is halfway through my boards. And at the bottom of the board, you're gonna router 3 eighths of an inch up and go all the way across. Your board should look something like this when it's done. For my front board, I'm removing 3 quarters of an inch completely off using a circular saw and then I'm going to router 3 8 of an inch on the bottom. For my left board, I'm cutting all the way across, but I'm stopping 3 8 of an inch before the end of the board. To create the 3 8 of an inch gap on both sides, I had to perform a plunge cut. I had to start my router up, and I've adjusted it down 3 8 of an inch into the middle of my board. From there, I was able to router left and right, leaving 3 8 of an inch on each side. You're gonna create a mirror image of this for the right side, like that. Now it's time to assemble your box. I'm putting a little bit of wood glue in the bottom grooves and on the sides where the boards are gonna connect. Taking my 11 and 5 8 plywood sheet, I'm simply fitting it into the bottom grooves and closing the box in. Clamp it shut and give it some time to set. Here's the big moment, does the top fit? Pray to the wood gods. To give my box a little more support, I'm adding two inch flathead nails on the sides. You could measure this, but I'm doing the old eyeball technique, like a true craftsman. <laughs> While that's setting, I'm gonna start my photo transfer on the lid. My gift is for my father for Father's Day, so I have a photo of my father and I. You're gonna need a laser printed photo and make sure you get it mirrored because once it transfers onto the wood, you're gonna want it the right way up. Taking your gel medium, you're gonna cover the entire top side of your lid. Do the same for the photo side of your picture. Once both sides are covered, apply the photo onto the wood top. Use a ruler to smooth out any air bubbles that are created. You're gonna do one more layer of gel medium right on top. Now set it aside and let it dry. Once your lid is dry, here comes the tedious part. Using water and a cloth, you're gonna to start to slowly peel away the gel medium top. Hey look, it's me! Once all the gel medium is removed, I'm taking a water-based sealer and I'm applying it all over the top. This dries clear and it's gonna create a hard coat to make sure that no damage happens to the photo. As a last step, I'm gonna create a small half-inch hole using a half-inch drill bit to be able to slide in and out easily. Probably wanna do it right in between Dad's knees here. Sorry, Dad. You got a finger hole. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed my DIY memento box. If you liked this project, give it a big thumbs up. I provided a full rundown and list of materials on the Coral website and I've linked it down in the description box below. See you later.